We're asked to use the limit comparison test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. We'll begin by determining what infinite series the given series resembles. Notice how the numerator is degree two. If we multiplied out the denominator, it would be degree four. So the given infinite series resembles the series where we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of n to the second divided by n to the fourth. If we simplified this, we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of just one divided by n squared. So we should recognize that this series will converge by the p-series test with p equals two. So because this series converges, we'll now apply the limit comparison test to hopefully show the given series also converges. Remember, when using the limit comparison test, we start with the given series a sub n, which we're trying to show converges or diverges, and the summation of a sub n resembles the summation of b sub n, which we know converges or diverges. So if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals L, where L is positive and finite, then if the summation of b sub n converges, then the summation of a sub n converges, and if the limit is positive and finite and the summation of b sub n diverges, then the summation of a sub n diverges. But in our case, because we're comparing the given series to a known convergent series, we'll use a limit comparison test to hopefully show convergence. So we'll say the given series resembles the series where we have the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n squared, which converges by the p-series test with p equals two, which is greater than one. So now we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n. So in our case, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which would be n to the second plus three divided by n times n plus two times n minus three times n plus one. So there's a sub n, and we'll divide this by b sub n, which is one divided by n squared. Remember this fraction bar means division, so we'll now write this as a product. We'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the second plus three divided by n times n plus two times n minus three times n plus one. And then we'd have times the reciprocal of one over n squared, which would be n squared over one. So now we have the limit as n approaches infinity of, the numerator would be n to the fourth plus three n squared. And now for the denominator, if we multiply this out, notice how the highest degree term in the first term in descending order would be one n to the fourth. This is really all we need to find this limit. Because the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are the same, the limit as n approaches infinity is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by one, which equals one. So because this limit is positive and finite, and we compared it to the series here, which we know converges, the given series also converges. So we'll say by the limit comparison test, the given series converges. I hope you found this helpful.